been a while since I came to you guys with an unboxing, but today I've got a special one. Uh, as many of you seen my Saber Forge unboxing with the problems that ensued with that, but nevertheless, we'll move on from that. This time, I have received a Hamptons handcrafted LED Saber. It is from their OTS line, so it is very similar to the Saber Forge Saber in that you build your own. There's an app on the Android. There's a, a app on the website that you can go to, and you can build your own Saber. And I'm pretty sure they're, they're starting to get them out, but they're pretty close to making it to where you can go on their page and order one directly and not from the Kickstarter campaign. So let's dig into this, see what it's like, and maybe give you a little quicker view of how it uh, goes together. Okay, so here we are. This is the box. First off, uh, the box itself feels lighter as a whole than my Saber Forge Saber did to begin with. And so I've got my Saber Forge Saber right here. And then I decided to compare the weight. It's a little heavier, but this one's pretty heavy by itself. All right, so let's cut the tape. Very careful, obviously. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. As many of you seen how the Saber Forge was packaged, it was in a triangle box and it was falling apart and that's more than likely where the parts went. But as you can see this one, they've, they've packaged it in a nice square box and they have uh, packing peanuts in here. Uh, so they have a box here, which I imagine it says HHCLS Hampton Handcrafted Lightsabers OTS line. And so that's a nice touch there. There's some paperwork here, the instruction manual, and then the, your order sheet that shows you uh, what pieces that you ordered from each part. So I guess you could compare it when you unpack it. And this is showing you how it goes together, what piece is what. Wow, okay. I didn't get none of this with my Saber Forge. This is like really detailed and very, very well put together. So that is phenomenal. Uh, Hamptons, you guys went above and beyond with that. In the box, there is the, obviously the box I said that I imagine the hilt's in. There is this little box which has their sticker, Hamptons Handcrafted LED Sabers, that's their logo sticker. Uh, there's also, let's see, get any other little things out maybe before I close stuff up, okay. Then there is their blade. And I believe that's it for that. Now this blade, from what I viewed their videos, is called a string blade and some people try to say that they're not very good and that they can break the LED strings in them or whatever. But they showed quite a few videos of just beating them and nothing going wrong and you can kind of see maybe in the bottom here there's just the the port and so it just clicks in and so the it's actually got the LEDs in the blade instead of just a projector up through the blade and so it should light up the whole blade better and more consistent that way. Then inside this little box, it has a charger. And so that's what's inside of there is your charger. And so that's, that's nice. I got a charger this time with it. And then here is the actual hilt. Okay. So this has got some super lube. It's got a couple of stickers. It's got the micro SD card, which I guess is for sound and all that, and it's got your Allen wrench for assembly. Also on here, there is, looks to be the belt clip holder. Five stars out of five for the uh, packing. And oh my lord. That is gorgeous. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. So it's got the crystal inside of there. Of course, here's a button assembly already assembled for me. So thank you, Hamptons, for that. It just says pull, so I imagine the battery's already installed and everything. And so this is a set screw that just fell out of it, but that's okay because it's just a set screw. So that's it for that. Man, it's already pretty close to being put together. And so I'm going to uh, assemble it real quick and see what it looks like when it is put together. So this is the foregrip. This is the uh, rear grip. And then uh, this piece right here should be the, I guess, the shroud, the emitter shroud. And then this should be the pommel. And so that should go together like that right there whenever it's put together. Okay, as I'm putting this together, I wanted to note something. Uh, they Each piece has these sleeves here. And so on my other one, they have spacers that I never got a hold of that you would put in uh, between each piece so that they'd line up so mine doesn't actually line up properly. Uh, but with this one, they have a sleeve on top of the actual piece and it kind of bends around. So when you're tightening it up, you actually line this outside sleeve up so that it lines up uh, flush and properly, which that is a really neat way of doing it and a very nice touch in my personal opinion. Okay, so here is the OTS blade, fully assembled. Uh, it looks gorgeous in my personal opinion. I love the black chrome, actually, and the gold. That is a very, very nice touch. Most everything lines up extremely good here. I mean, a little bit off right there. Yeah, you have to excuse my cat. She's very, very curious. It looks, the black chrome looks gorgeous in my personal opinion. I have to keep it very clean though because it shows my fingerprints. But that's quite alright. I'm, I'm not that big of a complainer on that. But um, these line up for the most part extremely well. You really can't line this top piece up any different than uh, this piece right here, the sleeve, because they both have to go around the button assembly. But when I do turn it around, there is just a slight little bit of off right there. Uh, but it's it's kind of even on both sides, so looks like it was meant to be that way for the most part. But that's where you can see the crystal assembly. And so let's power it up and see uh, what it looks like. Wow, the crystal assembly looks really awesome uh, to be honest I've, 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 that's one of the nicest touches I've seen and so you can see it through that side and that side and then the blade has a very consistent glow throughout the whole thing which is that string blade so that it gets the whole kind of the blade from top to bottom and it looks very very bright especially right now where there's light so
the handle also, like I said, it's slippery, but it's it's a good size for your hands. It's not uh, not too big, not too skinny. It seems just right for my hand. I like it. Uh, also, I don't know if you can see this real well, but it has a really good balance between the blade and the hilt. That's uh, really important when you want to duel, in my personal opinion, to have the right kind of balance. So uh, it's very, very well balanced. So that was the unboxing of the OTS blade from Hampton's Handcrafted Sabres. Uh, I'm extremely impressed right now. Obviously, I haven't dealt with it or anything yet, but I'm extremely imp impressed with the quality. The packaging was just phenomenal. Hands above anything that I've ordered in a while. I would highly suggest this. I will do my best in the uh, comments below or in the description below to leave you all the links to get one of these yourself if you want. Uh, be sure to check them out if you're looking for a saber for the first time or maybe looking for a, a, a new saber. They're probably a little pricier than you're going to have to pay for the Saber Forge or some of the others, but for the quality that this was, is well worth the cost. All right, I'll give you a link in the description below. So leave a comment also in the comments below. Tell me what you think of this. Tell me what your thoughts are compared to my uh, Saber Forge Saber. Uh, I'll also post some links to that, those in, those videos as well. And so, but hit the like button down below, subscribe. I'll, I'll post more videos eventually. And so thank you for checking it out. See you soon.